Hey guys, old blue cord back, back in the garage. Pretty nice day today. It's kind of cold outside, so I got, got a pretty nice fire going. Turned the fan down a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't interfere with the video. Uh, charging the car up. Battery got a little low, so I went ahead and put the charger on it. I'm using my charging station over there, new. Uh, probably time for a new battery 2018 on the old Camaro. So, got something kind of in mind for next year. Pretty excited about maybe, maybe a little offbeat from the normal battery stuff. You guys know I love to do my battery videos. And, uh, yeah, so the old brake caliper. Now, I did kind of like a teaser video of this because I did notice it was leaking. And ironically, after that, I got two heaters going too. If you hear this other heater going, the things are pulling too. Just filled it up, but look at that. Look, it's frosted down at the bottom. So let's pull the maximum heat. I like these heaters; they're pretty quick. Now, of course, you guys know my my EMI my EMI heat pump's not working, and uh, yeah, kind of kind of don't know what I'm going to do about that. But uh, at least I got some supplemental heat in here. But I did notice the brake caliper the other day and you know climbed on it do a nut and bolt check real quick and uh yeah i think i kind of know what the problem was and it's of course self-inflicted but uh we'll go ahead and check the check the battery voltage i'm already set up probably put a little charge on that this weekend too that's not too bad i did unhook it because you know i've kind of run a battery run my optima battery down several times so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to do a handheld on this but i've got the tripod ready uh, it's right behind me, but as you can see, we're we're weeping uh, what looks like between these two fittings and the crush. Now, if you look closely, obviously you can see the mistake. This crush washer is probably correct. This crush washer is not on the outside. So I'm going to try to do this real time. I haven't even broke this loose, but I think what happened was that this is the stuff I had laid out. And as you can see, there's all kinds of sizes. And I really think this might be the washer that came out of the whole unit. There it goes. But I don't think that's the one I really want to use. I really think I really think it was these that came with the kit. And I kind of misplaced them. So I went with these. And what these are, these wash, crush washers here are actually for Chrysler vehicles. I had bought a bunch at the... Uh, uh, nut bolt and screw and hose and hose and clamp store just to have a bunch and as you can see they're different they're different sizes in the inside is probably fine but the outside is and these crush washers are pretty picky about getting them to not leak on this type of fitting um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to break this apart quick try not to lose a whole bunch of fluid and then actually as I'm looking through this I'm thinking that this is probably maybe the right one that came with the caliper and i don't know how it got back there maybe that's an old honda one so let's see what we got here so i'm going to say the inside one is correct and it's the uh it's the outside one that's not but they work together these banjo bolts, it's just how they work with this crush. So I'm trying to keep everything focused. Like I said, if something happens, I'll just hit the pause button. Uh yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of fluid there. And see, but when I look at it, it looks to me like it's crushing good and fitting on there good. So that's kinda that's kinda weird. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the inside one. What you can do with this is hopefully if we put this up in the air, we won't lose as much fluid. So I just put that up high and then we'll look at our fit there and see what we got and it doesn't look too bad but we know we're leaking and then what I always do is I end up looking at how it the mark it makes so if you see that mark yeah, see, it thinks it's crushing good, although there's some kind of little rusty. So it seems like it's crushing good there, so that should be... I wonder what the issue is. Same with this. It seems to be crushing good. 
So I wonder why we're getting a leak between the two. It's kind of a perplexing problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to plant the camera. Then I'm going to pick out the washers I want. And then we'll try to go from there. Sound pretty good? All right. Okay, yeah, so we're back. So what I did is, like I said, I went ahead and picked out a set of washers. I guess I'm going to keep this fixed. Picked out a set of washers that I thought maybe would fit a little bit better. And I put two fresh new ones on there and tightened them down. Let's see if this works. I'm kind of perplexed because it seems like a simple setup, but uh, obviously it's not... Uh, it's not holding that well. And then, you know, I have read online that people are having trouble with these copper washers or whatever that metal is because, uh, I hate to say it, they're made in China and don't work correctly. So I hate to be one of those people, but it does definitely seem like there's some kind of issue. I looked at the mating surface of the caliper and it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, cleaned everything up with brake fluid, or I mean brake clean, sorry, and then I uh, checked the brake fluid. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk around to the car there, and I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and pump the pedal a few times, and then we're going to see what we got there. Hopefully this fixes it, because I really don't want to keep playing around with this over and over again. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give her a couple pumps. obviously because I broke I broke the system open and then uh, I'm gonna look all right we look good pretty good there I don't see anything it's real real dry that brake cleaner cleaned up everything yeah and I'm not getting any kind of no I'm not getting anything right now I'm gonna leave that caliper like it is because it's kind of easy to actually see if you do have a leak it's kind of a shame because you know when you buy them like this remanufactured um they come with this gray coating but it, it's not done well it's already all rusted out here probably should have put a hit it with a little black paint the problem with the black paint is you wouldn't really see that leak unless it was gray like that so i think i'm pretty happy with that what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my little vacuum on you might uh, vacuum thing out and just do like a quick vacuum bleed on this side right here I might do both sides I got the tires off it won't hurt and that'll change the fluid too I've got to see how much fluid I have uh, and that should do it so let's hope that holds but it's just pays to check your work you know I would have probably looked underneath there except I changed the oil uh, the braking there wasn't any there wasn't any issue with the braking at all uh, and I hadn't even noticed a f any loss of fluid. I mean, it just barely, that small amount, you just don't see it. So, you just gotta, you just gotta remember when you do so do work on a car to recheck your work. But, uh, just like the Boeing 747, right? They didn't check what they were doing, and now they think a part fell off someplace. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that overall. And, uh... I'll report back when I get to drive it again. It's a shame that the rotors are already started to rust a little bit, and I had them just had them turned. So, but that's how it goes. You don't drive a vehicle very much, and uh, I think that's gonna do me. So, let's end the video there. And I appreciate y'all looking. And I'll have several more videos coming up. Old Blue Accord, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.